The Arvada Community Food Bank is here to feed the hungry in the community. We do that through the Emergency Food Assistance Program, which helps people with a three-day supply of food to get them to the next paycheck, perhaps. We feed children on the weekends when they don't have the safety net of the free and reduced lunch program at the schools. And we help feed the seniors uh, monthly who are on lower incomes. The relationship between Super Credit and Arvada Community Food Bank was established while I was on the board of the food bank. At the time, the food bank was looking for a larger facility. The city owned the old library site. It was decided to try and move into there. However, it needed quite a bit of remodeling. So a capital campaign was established to raise about $400,000. It seemed like an opportune time to bring credit unions in the area together and try and make a statement for the community. We invited the 15 area credit unions that are served by the food bank to a lunch and we talked about uh, community involvement and how this might be a good opportunity. Uh, eventually seven of the credit unions decided to step up and uh, we generated uh, over 28,000 in donations. Half of that came from Super Credit Union thanks to the vision and generosity of our board of directors. As part of that, because of our strong commitment to it, the community room here is called the Credit Union Community Room. The Credit Union Community Room serves several functions. One is it's a meeting space for our various committees and the board of directors. We also have organizations and members of the community that use it for their meetings and classes. We've actually used it as a nutritional workshop and cooking class space. And then finally, it's overflow space. There are a couple times a year where we have much more food than we will fit in the warehouse area, and we use the community room for overflow space. We do not have very many meeting spaces at City Hall. We have one room that can accommodate up to 40 people. So the benefit of having the community room here at the Arvada Community Food Bank is that it's centrally located, it's very near City Hall, and it can accommodate a large number of people. The best part about using the Credit Union Community Room is that we're actually in a central location. Uh, we can actually enjoy being part of this community. We can bring food in as we come to do our meeting. Uh, we get to meet the staff. We actually stay part of the community, which I think is really in integral for those of us in League of Women Voters. We just had a little article in the newspaper saying we were going to be meeting here, and lo and behold, 30 people showed up to our meeting. We were very pleased about it. We gave the pro and cons of the ballot issues at that meeting. I have a nonprofit organization named um, Port of Light Financial Ministry. We were able to use the community room as a classroom. The cost was so low um, to me as the facilitator that I was able to just offer the class at cost as a nonprofit. That's huge. Personally, it's very rewarding to see the people helping people philosophy in concrete form. Not only to provide an opportunity for community groups to meet, but assist the food bank in feeding the northern Jefferson County hungry. It's a pleasure to work with Super Credit Union. It's organizations like that that make organizations like the Arvada Community Food Bank tick. I've worked with Super Credit Union in the food bank, I've worked with them at the Chamber of Commerce and in other organizations, and it's organizations like that that provide the financial and leadership support that enable organizations like this to function especially these days when most people can't trust their banking relationship. Uh, I know that they can trust Super Credit Union and, and all credit unions. And it's just very fulfilling to be uh, the safety boat in the economic storm.